Let me get my blankie together. Do you hear what I hear? If you hear something humming in the background, for real. That's my little heater, honey. We can't turn that off. I'm gonna be a popsicle. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am doing well, and I'm here to do another Real Housewives of Atlanta review. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, it is free 99, and also get into my favorite app at the moment, y'all know what it is, Feature Points. All you do is use my referral link down below, you start playing the games, accumulating the points, and then you cash them in for like PayPal credit, Amazon gift cards, Starbucks gift cards, the list goes on and on. I have my Jolly Juice on deck, we're gonna see how I do with this review, this is is my dad's famous punch and I spiked it with Smirnoff raspberry and honey it tastes like a Jolly Rancher it is a gift from Jesus himself oh my god first of all I want to say rest in peace to Todd's mother but bravo honey y'all could have done a lot better they just giving like a little blurb RIP I'm like what y'all could have gave like a little a better little tribute y'all had enough time episode starts off with Kenya going to see Claudia at her new little abode her high rise her sky rise she was like yeah this is my little spot we don't have no furniture yet because you know people are effing up but this is my place come on in girl make yourself at home in her confessional she was like you know what I got this I'm used to these type of places um I put down a deposit and I'm just glad that credit check went on through I was like you know what Claudia I can really F with you I can really F with you Claudia is pouring them a little libation and a nice little red cup up, honey I wouldn't have messed up my new glasses either have this enjoy yourself you can put lipstick on it and we can just throw it away and she was like oh my god that's gonna make us look like so winos girl if you don't hush and drink that liquor hush here's another thing she don't want to come and sit on the rug okay Claudia girl this is your place and Kenya you just gonna have to adhere to the rules I don't care if you have on Jesus sandals sit down and have a good time Kenya please stop acting like you did on that Martin episode or was it Troy Troy's Troy's Tra? What was it? Tra Pandora's box? I personally like which one was it? The one with um Ebony from Players Club. I like that one better anyway. She goes into the whole spill about how she met with Candy and what happened and how everybody still thinks that she's a lie. Claudia was like, girl, I've known you for a little bit and no, you're not a whore. No, you're not a slut. You are a little ashy and your ass is crazy, but we love you for it. Honey, when the wine starts pouring, them instructions look like the Soul Train Scrabble board. I can understand. Todd and Candy go over to her old house so they can see what had happened was because Candy Mama Mama Joyce been living there with her boyfriend. She got a little boyfriend. That mess looked like it was ready for one of them renovation shows on HGTV, preferably the Vanilla Ice one. Uh, Mama Joyce's boyfriend, you don't know what you're doing. Candy was like, oh my God, this is too much damage to sell it or lease it or something. Oh my God. Girl, you should have had Don Juan or somebody over there patrolling because that was a mess. Ty brings it up. He's like, look, you got to hold Mama Joyce accountable. Not saying you need to cut her off, but I mean, you just gave her, a, you didn't even give her a slap on the wrist. You just like, you just rubbed her cheeks a little bit and bought her a new house. And I'm kind of like, Todd, what did you expect? She can just mess up stuff. You buy her something else. You probably going to pay for this mess to get fixed. Honey, Mama Joyce is just doing what you allow her to do, sweetie. We're at Cynthia's house and her mother and Mallory, they're there. And Mallory, she looking better and better every season. They're there for the weekend and Cynthia's all in the uproar. And they're like, girl, what happened? I'm thinking something that happened with the Bailey agency. She's like, there's, there's a new NeNe story. She was on a blog. I was like, Cynthia, your ass is too old to be thinking about this Bailey. Girl, get your life. NeNe? She had another interview where she was bad-mouthing me. The breaking point was not when she called Peter a bitch. The breaking point is when she wouldn't go out to eat with me at K&W. And <laughs> Cynthia, you and me need, need to take Iyanla's forgiveness course. I think Iyanla on the next season needs to bring this whole season of Real Housewives together so they can have a healing session to break, because it, it ends today. Candy goes over to Fei Fei's house and Fei Fei, she making some guacamole. Ooh, ooh, Apollo has not told Fei when he got to go to jail um what his number is um where he can write her at he just been out partying and stuff so you know what Fei Fei I do the same thing girl make your little guacamole take care of Prince and the president and you have a good day sweetie Candy of course had to tell her about the run-in with Kenya this was Fei Fei and I fix it Jesus Candy wants everybody to come together and have a kumbaya 
for once. Even though Candy be messy a lot of the times, I did agree with this. I think that was a good idea. Everybody playing duck, duck, goose. Nene and Greg are showing their youngest son, Brent, how to drive. And Brent looked like he about 29 and being in the trap. I'm like, oh, shoot. He got a Rick Ross Rose oh, voice. I'm like, oh, my God. While they're putting the cones away, she get a text from Candy talking about everybody needs to, you know, come together so they can apologize to Kenya and have this little healing session. She was like in her confessional, do I feel like I owe Kenya an apology? <laughs> no. Nene has called Kenya a myriad of things. I don't recall in my Feifei voice that she called her a whore or a slaw. Or Kenya more whore. She might have called her a dirty bitch or something like that. Claudia and Kenya, they're headed to the gym. And while they're working out, Claudia opens up about her family life and what she went through growing up. She has a better relationship with her dad's family and not her mother's family and not even her mother. They have never said, I love you to each other. And honey, I cannot imagine. So I can see how Kenya and Claudia, they make pretty good friends because, you know, they go through this a lot of the same stuff and hopefully they can help each other. We'll see. Candy meets with the two bitty long titties, AKA, AKA her aunts, AKA the two live crew. There was a lot of subtitles and a lot of chicken and a lot of grease. And at the end of their scene, we figure out that, you know, this whole time Mama Joyce was talking about Todd and Candy. She was getting busted wide open and her boo was busting up the house too. There's a meeting in my bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. It's time for the meeting. Fei Fei. And Candy Cane are the first ones there, and they have a prayer for this. And Fei Fei was like, Lord, I cast out all slores. I cast out all these nasty hoes. If it ain't about the money, ooh, you can miss me with it. You can miss me with it. Turn up. I cast out all these demons. And I'm sitting here like, Candy, um, ma'am, what kind of prayer is this? Ma'am, your prayers are not valid. Thank you, not for tonight. Cynthia came in and she was looking crew, but I wanted to say, girl, hush in her confessional. She was like, anybody who comes for me, I'm coming for them back. Girl, you ain't gonna do shit. Kenya comes in and she kisses everybody and then she goes, hello, Phaedra. And Phaedra, hey. <laughs> Portia comes in, everybody like, hey, girl. Cynthia being shady boots in her confessional. Okay, I guess them dish TV checks are adding up for that little old nasty man she's screwing. Mm -hmm. Nene is last and she just comes in hello ladies hello Candy she opens it up because she's the one who brought everybody to the table and she was like you know what uh, can we all just move forward please uh, ain't nobody saying nothing. Kenya opens it up and she talks about the elephants and the monkeys and the lions and tigers and the bears that are in the room ever since, you know, the tragedy happened. Phaedra, I hear you mumbling over there. Phaedra was like, honey, I'm gonna say it loud and clear, boo-boo. Yes, I called you a slut. Yes, I called you a whore. But if it quacked like a duck, you a duck, bitch. Blessings to you. Kenya keeps going on and on and on. And I was like, Kenya, girl. Oh my God, it's over, it's done with. Baby girl, she's not gonna give you the apology that you want. You have said your piece, sweetie. Please order your entree. Oh, it's time for Nene and Cynthia. That's what we were all waiting for anyway. Everybody was looking at them like, okay, it's time for the big shebang. Candy was like, you know what? When the last time y'all spoke? Nene, I loved it. I always speak Candy. I said hello to everyone when I came in. Hello, our issue has nothing to do with you all. This is between me and Cynthia. Nene acting like she don't know when they fell out or what happened or, you know, when the last time she got some peanut butter, when the last time she went to Panera and got a little soup bowl, she don't know nothing. When Cynthia opens it up and says, you really don't know what happened, how our friendship, and then Nene went all the way in. I was like, so much for keeping it off of the table, Miss Lanethia. Nene went from, and Cynthia, you know what I did, Cynthia, and then she went straight, you, you wrong, Cynthia, you just said wrong. Cynthia, she couldn't say not nothing. Y'all remember Angelica's doll from um, Rugrats, Cynthia, where she wouldn't speak, she wouldn't say nothing. She'd just sit there frazzled. That's exactly what Cynthia was doing. You can tell Nene is hurt. You can tell that Cynthia, she is at her end of the road and she is about to let go because she can't say nothing. And everybody looking like, well, Nene, can you shut up? Next episode, they're both gonna cry and they're gonna have a come to Jesus or we're gonna see what's gonna happen. And if they can rekindle their friendship, we will see. I'm at the end of my jolly juice. Down below in the comment section, let me know what you thought about this episode. These last two episodes have really felt like fillers to me. Hopefully this season gets better. Let me know down below how you're liking this season. 
and I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye. I'm thinking about it. I need to go to the store and get me some avocados. Honey, when the wine start pouring them it. Honey, when the wine starts pouring them it. Ugh. I, oh, mm. Has that attack Megan. <laughs> so, candy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs>